Hey what's going on guys welcome back to another monster awesome video so in today's video i wanted to make a separate video for the monster of the year so this is like a new mini event that they kind of released and they do this like once a year so today i wanted to explain everything that you need to know about this event and who i'm actually going to vote for so i hope you guys are excited if you are make sure to drop a like subscribe anyways it's going to get started all right guys so here is what we're going to do here's the thing if you didn't watch yesterday's video um they actually give me a token for free i'm sure everybody received it if not then i don't know maybe you can contact support and ask them why but here's the thing besides that they also what was that what, what did they give me oh they gave me like 25 or 50 coralias um i believe it's because i have like all the monsters of the year basically it's like a little mini event so if we go ahead and tap on it there's like five days and 17 hours remaining look at this so if you basically obtain darman voltic redeemed serpentix barbatos and ural they'll give you 50 of the coralias for free right so here's the thing we've got five monsters here and it says vote for your favorite monster of 2022 so this is for the previous year all the monsters that were released and they just want you to basically vote for your favorite one. I actually like, I like most of them. I really do. Um, the top three for me has to be Serpentix, Voltic, and uh, Ural. But here's the thing. It just says favorite monster of 2022. So that could be based off of design. It could be based off of, I guess, skills or yeah, design, like I said, things like that. So I think personally what I'm going to vote for <laughs> would probably mm, here's the thing it says for your monsters 2022 okay so here's the thing i as much as i like voltic redeemed i have been using dark voltic as well and i still use dark voltic by the way okay don't bully me in the comments i still use them okay i don't know if you guys do but i do <laughs> but besides that we've had serpentix and Ural the divine that were like stupidly op right in pvp every battle you click on still you click on it you, you see serpentix you see Ural back then when they first got released though that was just something else here's the thing i like Ural a lot i also like serpentix a lot it's a hard it's, it's, it's just a difficult decision to make here we've got to choose it wisely now some of you guys are like what about barbatos rex and darman here's the thing barbatos rex i think they did him wrong in terms of design i personally enjoy the um previous design that they had for for this legendary like, if we go ahead and tap on the legendary one, I think I have it in the vault. Dark, it should be somewhere around here. There it is. Tell me this does not look better than the mythic one. And this mythic was just amazing back then. I, I, I was using it. Look, I have I have some runes on it. I have a level 5 life rune, level 6 strength, and a level 7 speed. And it was a level 105. I was using it. I, I actually enjoyed using him. But then they released him again... The design doesn't look better than the original. Well, that's just my opinion. Um, and it's not better than the... Well, I, I just don't think he was like able to compete in the meta. He still doesn't. So, yeah, I don't think he ever was. Really. So, Barbatos Rex, that's a no-no. I, I think the design is okay. But I like the original one more. Darman. Darman got released later near the end. So I didn't really use him much. I don't think I use him at all, really. Voltic Redeemed, I did use. I actually ranked it up using my Ambrosia. Not Ambrosia. What, what the heck is that? Astronites, right? I spent my Astronites. I went ahead and got it to like 140 something. And then now I think it's maxed out. Or close to maxed out. So this also came near the end. Serpentix and Ural came pretty early. Um, Ural came before though. So I started using Ural quite a lot. And I actually still do. It's, it's a really good monster. Serpentix is a really good attacker, but then there's Cupid as well. So I think we can come to a conclusion that the best monster, well, my personal favorite, is basically Ural the Divine. Is Ural the Divine. I think that's like the best one out of here. Well, I mean, that it has a different role from these other guys. Except Darman. But I think Ural actually takes my vote, guys. I did I really did an analysis. Yo, now that I think about it, that was like a whole analysis right there. You know what I mean? But Serpentix is also up there, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose Euro Levine, take my vote. So when you go ahead and tap on it, it'll basically pop up and 
they take the vote so there goes my vote so what does it mean now what happens well you're gonna have to wait five days and 16 hours well the time i'm recording is just five days and 16 hours uh you cannot purchase any more of those so once you vote for that monster they take a vote at the end they'll go ahead and let you know who actually got the most votes i don't know if they're going to mention who got the least amount of votes i feel like the least amount of votes will probably be either darman or barbara soul strikes one of those two i'm sorry if there's any fans out there for barbara soul strikes and darman but i think those two will probably get the least amount um but i think volsic redeem serpentix and ural divine is definitely going to be one of the winners for sure um so we'll have to see and here's the thing uh i think whoever wins they'll probably give everybody rewards like just a free reward they'll probably give either coralias or like a avatar or some cells i don't know but look if we go ahead and tap on where was it um i think it's the tokens here right was it the tokens it wasn't the tokens you guys remember this one thing that they give us oh it's in the chests actually it's in the chest category i already opened it up remember the avatars that they give us the little rocks that like had smiley faces and all that angry face and whatever they'll probably give something like that similar something similar or they'll probably just give something like gems or something random so i wonder if they're gonna give it to everybody that, that's the thing i wonder if everybody's gonna get the same rewards or players that actually voted for their favorite monster let's say i voted for euro the divine and euro the divine actually wins they'll probably give me and all the players that voted for euro the same reward like better and then all the players that voted for something else and that monster doesn't get picked they get like something bad not bad but like decent ish you know what i mean and then your users get the most rewards like the best rewards i guess i don't know we'll have to see uh that's just my theory um theory is all we can actually do uh last time for monster of the year i forgot what they give us if any of you guys remember let me know in the comments down below but it says the final lineup for this voting has been chosen by okay can we tap on it we can okay i'm not logged in is it is this it oops i can't view it can i i don't know what that is it's just a blank page i think but yeah we'll have to see we'll have to wait and see but anyways guys so that will be pretty much it for today's monster tunes video on the monster of the year let me know in the comments down below who you guys voted for and also who you think will actually win the monster of the year so again we'll just have to wait until the timer ends and then they'll let us know who actually got the most votes and that's basically the monster of the year for 2022 so anyways guys thank you all so much for watching today's monster video if you guys did enjoy make sure you drop a like subscribe if you're new and also hit that notification so you don't miss any of my future videos thank you all so much for watching i'll see you guys next one peace out